Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Um, it is raining outside like super aggressively right now but the sun came back out so I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. If it gets really dark and loud I might end it prematurely but uh, here's hoping it's fine. Um, this just came, super exciting that it's finally here. Oh, uh, ooh. I ended up getting in touch with the shop because um, it turned out they had a lot of delays and that was what the problem was, um, but it arrived finally. Um, I'm super excited, the colour seems really nice, I haven't looked at it properly yet. This is the shop I ordered it from and this is the same shop that I actually pre-ordered my original book from, I really like them. Um, and it's a really small business so it's, it's always really nice service and it's very friendly and, and it's just nice, right? Um, this is super cute, I'm gonna keep this. Um, and here it is. I'm using the Japanese one again now because um, obviously my bunny weeks was in English but then I spilled coffee all over it. Um, so now I'm back on Japanese because now it's too late in the game to be fussy about what language I have. Um, but I don't mind. I actually have no problem at all using the Japanese one. I've enjoyed it. It's been fine. Um, and it actually feels more minimal just because if you're not fluent you can't understand as much. Um, the English one, there's too much to read. <laughs> like I know that sounds daft but... Um, I was kind of getting cold feet about having bought the English edition, um, so maybe, maybe this was fate. 
I don't know, probably not, but you know. Um, I also got some little sticker sheets. Oh my god, these ones are holographic! Oh, uh, can you see? They're so pretty. I had no idea they were holographic when I bought them. Those are so nice. Oh my gosh. Look at this cute little guy. These are so nice. They're from Sticky Club. Um, I've never heard of this before. I just bought them on a whim because I was like, well, I'm paying postage anyway. So I always just add a couple of sticker sheets when I buy from stationery shops. But these are so nice. I'm going to look this brand up, Sticky, with two eyes. Um, because what the hell? Those are so pretty. I wish I could make stickers like this. Um, anyway. Also got these little cat ones just because I thought she was cute. She's like reading and eating toast and stuff. Um, yep. Okay. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll open this quickly and then I just want to show you um, the jewellery I got because um, I'm scared the weather's going to go funny and also Wednesday is really upset because of the weather so if you can hear her whining, ignore her. She's okay. Um, she's just stressed about the rain. Um, I didn't film on Monday this week because it was pitch black. Um, the sun might as well not have risen on Monday and to be honest with you, I'm not convinced it did. Um, it was so dark. Um, I love the pocket. <laughs> um, I realised in my first Hobonichi unboxing video I didn't open this, but look how cute it is this year. With the little gingerbread man. It's so nice. Like, I just love it. I just love it. Can't believe I managed to get a second unboxing experience this year. Um, the colour is so pretty. The cover is not very thick, I will say that. It's quite thin, um, but you find that a lot with the Weeks books, like they just really vary in thickness. Because I thought the Weeks one was quite thin, but then that has the layer of fabrics on both sides, so then it's not as thin. Um, yeah, so this is just exactly the same as my existing Weeks now. Um, but I, I love it. I really do like the colour. I think I'm glad I chose this one. It is really pretty. It's not like a really obnoxious gold colour, it's just like a really soft sort of like starlight or moonlight. It's really pretty. Okay, um, let me put these bits somewhere to one side um, and I will show you the jewellery quickly um, because I just wanted to reiterate how nice this whole packaging situation was. Um, I did a quick unboxing on my bed where I do like most of my unboxings but there were all these gifts, like the little sweets for Christmas. Um, but then also, oh, I got this one too, which was a surprise, and it's a little Wednesday phones char phones charm, phone charm. Um, and I was really speechless when I opened it. Um, this is super super cute. I I love it. Like it's with the colors and the black. Like I just mm, okay. That like that caught me off guard. Um, but I really love it. So that's what kind of why I wanted to come back again and show you again because. Look how nice these are. I'm actually wearing the bracelet right now. Um, I really love the colours with the little star. Um, it's so pretty. <laughs> like, um, and these little earrings, and then these little like Christmas bauble type earrings are super cute. Hopefully you can see. Um, and these little star hoops too, super cute. They would be really good for um, like a stocking filler or like a gift for a friend or a secret Santa or something, especially because the packaging was so nice and you get all the information and like care cards. Um, not only that though, but one of them came with this little pouch, which is super soft, but then they also came in these really pretty like seasonal pouches. And then this one has a little cloth inside it. And then obviously you saw that it was all wrapped up in paper or in like ribbons and it's just like the way things are layered like i just i don't know i just wanted to come back again um and these were all gifted items to be clear um the seller approached me and asked me if i would be open to receiving some gifts and reviewing them for you guys and i said yes because i'm <laughs> i was gonna say i'm like a goblin but let's think of something nicer i'm like a bird a magpie um, I get offered little shiny things and I can't help myself and I'm so glad I said yes because these are genuinely so beautiful like I'm gonna actually genuinely shop at the, at the shop um, let me turn the, the information up um, because these are so nice so like I 
I don't know. I didn't I didn't expect it to be so lovely, I guess, is, is my point. I hope I don't sound insincere because I'm not, okay? I'm not lying to you, I promise. I just, it's so nice. Um, and that's like, I don't know, not to be mushy, but that's the nice thing about shopping independent, right? Is sometimes things arrive and they're just, there's just so much care. Um, not only in the items, but in the way things are packaged. Um, and so much thought has gone into it. And it's, it's just really nice. <laughs> um, so I wanted to just come and say that because it's one thing to do a silent unboxing and show things. And it's another thing to, to talk about it. And I just, I was so caught off guard, I guess. And like in all, um, it's just, it's really lovely. So if you're interested in shopping with this shop, they're based in the UK. Um, and this is all their information and, and it's really lovely. Like I'm so excited to wear all my bits. I'm going to wear this every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> um and it's just super cute so i just wanted to show you that um okay wednesday come here okay um i just wanted to show you that and now i'm gonna go sit with wednesday because she's so sad about the rain um but i just wanted to show you that i wanted to show you that my book arrived um i'm gonna make a separate setting up video so i'm not gonna do that with you today but i just wanted to show you that it finally came because <laughs> i'm excited that it's here um, and I will catch you probably on Friday.
Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, I don't know why I always say something like that when you're probably not watching it on a Friday, but there we go. Um, I'm just gonna do the little end talking bit. It's gonna be quite a short one because I don't have too much more to update you on this week, but I just wanted to close up, <laughs> I guess. Um, this afternoon, I'm just gonna work on setting up my new Hobonichi. I'm gonna make, I think, a dedicated video for that. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna try and do a lot of it in one sitting or if maybe next week I'll make like a, I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> like a week in my Hobonichi, so like the Attic Archives, but it's only Hobonichi content. Um, I'm not sure I actually will have enough to do for that <laughs> because my setup is quite minimal. I don't have like a lot to move over or anything um, and I don't use like month tabs so I don't have any tabs to stick on or anything. Um, but I might see how, how I get on with that. Um, apart from that, not a lot to tell you. Um, I got these cute little, they're gift tags, but I'm going to use them as bookmarks for my book, um, from this company on Etsy. They're handmade in the UK, and it's just a little Sherlock Holmes illustration from the original, um, Sydney Paget drawings, which is what my tattoo is as well. <laughs> um, but I just thought they were cute to be used as bookmarks rather than gift tags, so gonna do that. Um, I also realized um, earlier this week, and I forgot to mention it the other day, but the Field Notes books actually fit inside the original passport size traveler covers. <laughs> um, my other cover that I showed you in my notebook update video still smells of coffee, so it's just hanging out in a box full of baking soda right now. Um, that's why I don't have it on. But I did realise that the passport, the passport, this is going to get so confusing, the field notes books fit inside the passport traveller's notebook cover, which I already had. I've had it for like a year and a half or something and I just wasn't using it at the moment. But I realised the field notes fit and with only a bit of overlap at the top, like the smallest amount and I'm quite fussy and it doesn't bother me. So it basically fits perfectly, um, which is pretty neat. So I've been just been carrying my, my field notes. <laughs> god my field notes around in that which has been really nice for going to the post office and stuff um and it means i get to use the zip pocket which is great like i love the zip pocket um so that's cool um because of that i don't know if i'll put my hobonichi in the traveler's cover depends if i can get the smell out um but i don't know if maybe i'll just keep the field notes in a traveler style cover instead and then keep my hobonichi in the clear cover on cover um I think I'll just see how I go. <laughs> um, I just stuck this little Yoshitomo Nara, like little cat girl in the front. I was gonna put it on the front cover because I, I didn't glue it. I just used some double-sided masking tape so it can come back off. I thought about putting it inside here, but um, someone mentioned that this gold coloring comes off on the edges if it's not in a cover, um, it like wears out. So I'm not sure if maybe the tape would peel off some of the color. Um, so I am playing it safe <laughs> um, and I just popped her in there. Um, apart from that, I, th I think that's kind of it this week. Um, not a lot going on, to be honest. <laughs> um, I actually got a migraine on Tuesday night. I've chronically had migraines my entire life, um, ever since I was a child. And I was under Great Ormond Street for it for a long time. I can't remember if I've ever talked about that, but I'm very used to it, <laughs> basically, long story. Um, and I've had a migraine since like Tuesday. I took some painkillers from the doctor on Tuesday night. Um, and I think that kept the worst of it away because then I could just sleep it off overnight. But it's still hanging around. <laughs> um, and anyone who has migraines will know how weird it is. Um, even if the pain is mostly gone, I still have like the aura is still there. So I always get it on the left side of my face, my left side of my head. Um, and I can feel it like behind my eye, it's really weird. <laughs> um, so I'm struggling a bit with that. Um, hence why there's not really too much going on. I did a post office run yesterday um, and I went to that grand opening for Miniso, but it wasn't really very cool. It was just busy and cold and then the gift bag was a bit rubbish. <laughs> um, I've never had weird exercise equipment in a gift bag before, that was strange. I thought it was gonna be like a mini plush and some stickers or something and like a snack. I did not expect it to be like, just really bizarre random stuff anyway um so i didn't do anything yesterday afternoon because i wasn't feeling well um and because i'd had the migraine on tuesday and then pushed through wednesday thursday by the time i got in i was like <laughs> not okay so um quiet end to the week but that's fine it's nice i'm just gonna work on this because that always makes me feel better 
um, and I'll let you watch some of that and then I'll work out my idea for the video next week. Um, I'll either make a dedicated video that's not super super long and I'll upload that maybe sooner. Um, if you don't hear from me in the middle of the week, <laughs> then you can expect a longer Hobonichi style video, I think. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how long it takes me to set this up. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's everything this week. I always forget stuff and then I'm really annoyed that I couldn't talk about something cool. Oh, a cool thing. I'm watching The Wednesday Show on Netflix um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. No spoilers in the comments, please, because I'm watching it slowly. I'm not like proper marathoning it. Um, so if you spoil it for me, I will block you from my channel. <laughs> Do not ruin this for me or anyone else, not just me, anyone. It's really good. I've only seen two episodes so far, but I really love it. It's so fun. Um, I was worried because that kind of thing can be so hit or miss. Um, I was like proper stressed about it. I really like the casting. Um, obviously Tim Burton is involved, so it's cool. It's good so far in case anyone else was too scared to watch it because I was until I started reading reviews because if it was going to be really bad, I would rather not watch it at all. But I read the reviews. The reviews were really good and now I'm enjoying it. So that's what I wanted to talk about this week. <laughs> um, I'm watching that and it's a really fun time. Um... Okay, let's crack on with some notebook stuff and I will chat to you again next week.